Hi, my name is Sam Ainetta, and uh, here I am again at around 5 o'clock in the morning, and uh, just having some weird thoughts, you know, I got just got another referral from uh, you know, a friend, a client that I've trained, and they sent their friend here, and uh, you know, it seems like over and over and over again, I keep hearing the same story from people that they have been to, quote, everybody, and uh, have had a really, really hard time uh, with a pain and ache, uh, suffering of one point or another. And sometimes the advice is just horrid. But very, very often, um, I'm having to second guess a doctor. You know, I'm having to, uh, they come in and say, my doctor says I need this. And we go in and uh, my, myself, my staff work on them for a very, very short period of time, a couple of sessions. And 50% of their pain's gone. Their, uh, you know, their bulge disc area that's been bugging them for six years, seven years, fades, uh, and they get, you know, real function back. And uh, it's tough because, you know, every morning I get a dozen emails and I'm popping through them and going through what's going on. And uh, those are the ones that I read, besides the ones I throw away. But, uh, you know, I keep having this same dilemma in my head going on, like. Why is this personal trainer, you know, given I have a lot of experience, but I'm a personal trainer. I am not an MD. I'm not a physical therapist. Why am I going through um, and having to not only second guess, but prove wrong um, all of these different professionals uh, when they're saying this person needs a surgery or they need a, um, a fusion or they, they need to uh, you know, $400 orthotics and all these different things. They just keep sticking in people's shoes. Um, and I think, you know, in some cases they're attempting to pacify people. I think in some cases that um, they say, okay, well, the quickest fix is for me to stick a shim in your shoe, and then you're going to walk differently, and hopefully that'll fix your knee pain. You know, but the bottom line is I'm a guy who likes to work and work hard for the results I get, and I'm very used to doing that from when I was a kid. And, uh, you know, all the way through my current age, which is close to 50 years old, and... Uh, I just have a really, really hard time with people going, okay, I'm looking for that quick fix, that thing that takes my pain away immediately. Um, now, a lot of times what's funny is I am that quick fix. We go and we make that happen. We make people pain-free. We make people um, you know, change their movement patterns and, and, and make a better life for themselves. But uh, I really don't like this concept of second-guessing doctors and whatnot. So I immediately generally say, you know, most of the doctors that I know don't know a lot about exercise. Actually, I train, and in functional fitness, we have probably close to a dozen different doctors that come here for sessions uh, of all different walks. And, uh, you know, several of them had said, plain and simple, when people ask me about exercise, I just say, go see Sam. You know, and so and these are some of the top docs in, in Boulder. And um, even to the point where I've had clients go in and get surgeries and uh, the doctor told them, you're not going to, I don't want to see you working out for at least 12 weeks. I want you to stay away from your workouts. And they've said to the doc, oh, man, I, I got to cancel a bunch of appointments with Sam. And they, and they go, Sam who? And they go, Sam Ionetta. Oh, if you're working out with Sam, you can go work out now. Sam will know what not to do. And, yeah, when you have enough experience, you can basically have people be saying these nice things about me and even the docs. But... So often we get caught up in, um, okay, well, here's my point of view, here's the fix for that, and if you don't do it, you're in big trouble, um, is what you know they hear from the doctor. Whether the doctor's actually saying that or not, I can't say, but that's what I keep hearing over and over again. Um, this guy or that guy said not to do this. And, um, and I say, well, let's try a couple of movement pattern changes and a couple of different uh, muscle firings, and let's release a few things around this, and let's fire a few things around this, and let's turn these muscles on. Let's see what we get. And, uh, you know, very, very quickly, someone's walking away with half a smile on their face going, wow, this is changeable without someone, um, you know, cutting me open or carving me up. Um, that said, there are a number of people who come to me and they have an issue or a problem um, where I look at it and go, this is surgical. Like, this is destroyed. There's no, there's no coming back from this without surgical intervention. Um, so there are a bunch of docs that I refer to, you know, for surgeries and things like that and say, hey, you should go see this guy or that guy or I heard good things. Um, I've had good results. But it seems like over and over and over again I deal with the same, you know, uh, thing. People come in and say, well, this guy said this, this guy said that. Or, you know, what happened the other day was a person told me that of three different episodes where three different personal trainers who were all considered good personal trainers 
uh, put this person through exercises that um, injured them uh, very rapidly. And they had injuries that at months and years later still have not gone away. Um, so for the trainers out there, pay some attention. You know, look at it and say, is this really something that this client's going to use today? Or is this something that's going to um, you know, possibly cause an injury that they will not be able to get on top of again? And there's my tip of the day. Hope you guys are doing well. Bye.